Well, as you can see, I've been busy building a 10 by 20 coop cage for my five younger hands that are too young to go into the coop with the rooster at the moment. So here's the chickens and their little hutch I bought for them. And uh, this is going to be replaced. Somebody gave me, the next door neighbor gave me a bunch of pallets he got for free from his friend. This coop cage I put them in 10 by 20 is going to be used for meat birds later on, but they're only three months old. I want them to get about four, four and a half months when they start laying before I introduce them to the rooster because uh, right now I don't want him jumping on top of them. Even though they're getting pretty good size, um, they're just not ready for that. And so I'll hold off on meat birds and, and raise them towards the fall when it gets a little cooler anyway. Okay, one of the things I like about the coop though is this is snapped together with some pens. And so the whole thing disassembles quite easily. And so you can move it quite easily just by pulling the pens out that anchor it. Just move the whole frame. Or if you're going to pack it away and you can unsnap it. And in most cases, you only have to use a minimum amount of tie wraps to uh, actually wrap it up, move it to a location somewhere across country, and set it back up. Now one of the key points about this construction of this whole coop is they give you a, a cutout diagram to actually figure out how to cut the uh, chicken wire so that it fits on the thing. Eventually they just have you take this part right here and stretch it all the way across the top of the roof to the other side. And you do that like one, two, three, four, five, six times. And then you've got your roof cover, side covers. Then you only have to do your ends. They suggest this cut, that end. And this cut right here, this cut right here they suggest you do the same thing, but you also got a door. I like this door here because it has these double hinges, which makes it a better security lock than the other one I have. This is a 10 by 20 coupe. It's very portable. You can move it across country if you need to. 400 bucks total with taxes. It cost me 359 taxes and all that stuff. 400 bucks total. Can't beat it for a 10 by 20 coupe cage for meat birds, for protecting your birds from hawks and everything else. So at the present time, the chickens are busy enjoying the shade. And, you know, these are about three, three months old. They'll be about, by the middle of August, they'll be ready for laying eggs. So expect small eggs at first and then extra large brown eggs. Mm -hmm.